Okay, so why is Google Maps so vitally important for your law firm's SEO strategy? I will show you why. I was doing some research today. Uh, I typed in truck accident lawyer Philadelphia, which is where my marketing company is located. And look how fascinating this is. So you have the Google ad showing up right here, right? And then right beneath it, you have the map. Now, if I were to do this on my mobile phone, you would notice that the map is, is a very big piece on mobile, uh, as a lot of attorneys are aware. Um, but look at this. Look at this. We have booming reviews for two firms. Now we have an ad right here. This is done now through Google's uh, ad network. You can actually buy ads in the map, which is very big secret that not a lot of firms are taking advantage of right now. And you can actually bid up so that you're more likely to show up in the map. There's ways to do that. But the point I wanted to make here is uh, people, a lot of firms are so concerned about showing up down here which is definitely a way to get a lot of traffic to your website by offering valuable blogs and information to your potential clients. But what we've noticed is that the people who click on the results down here are usually more research oriented and still need more information before they call you for a consultation. Um, although there are many, many times where people will call you from these, what we've noticed is that the map section is vital for your law firm to generate more clients quickly. It's the quickest way to actually get results via SEO for your law firm. Um, there's three factors that I really like about Google Maps for lawyers is, number one, it immediately shows reviews, okay? Lawyers do all this stuff on their website to show their accolades and you know all the you know, prior case settlements and stuff. But ultimately, the best way for a potential client of yours to vet you out is to actually look at what other people are saying without, you know, the bias of what you're trying to say on your website. So this is much more trustworthy. There's, there's uh, research that shows that people trust Google reviews more or equal to a friend recommendation, a recommendation from a friend. Isn't that crazy? That's how much people are trusting the internet. So, number one, it immediately shows reviews, i.e. credibility. Number two, it uh, shows location, right? So what does this mean? Well, okay, it shows a map. So people who submit their information, or I'm sorry, reach out via Google Maps, are looking for a specific law firm, which is very different than looking for information down here. Oh, I want to read more about how to deal with this problem, right? Versus here, there is a map, okay? Which means they are in the buying state. So your number one priority in SEO should be to show up here for your ready to buy highest value case terms, potential case terms. So that leads me to my third point. So number one, we have reviews on it. We have a location, a map, which shows they're ready to go. And then number three, these are bottom of funnel leads, right? So these are people who are ready to hire a lawyer. And if you treat them right with your intake process, you can really succeed. So, and the question becomes, how do I rank on Google Maps for my law firm for the right terms? Okay, well, Moz, now this is from 2018, but the, the ranking factors haven't changed dramatically. Um, uh, for quite a bit. So Moz has released actually through uh, trying to detect factors of Google's algorithm, they've come up with exact percentages as to how to rank high on the local pack, the map pack as they call it, with your Google My Business profile for your law firm. So check this out. The top five factors account for I calculated about 82% of all of your SEO results. So if you were to just do these five things with perfection, your law firm would rank high on Google My Business, on Google Maps for the right search terms. So 
Number one is you have to have Google My Business signals, right? So this includes proximity, categories, and keywords in the business title, okay? So look here, here's the category they're all using. Personal injury attorney, personal injury attorney, personal injury attorney, personal injury attorney. So if you haven't listed, and sorry about the flinging hair back there, that's Emily uh, who works in my office with me. Um, so if you haven't listed, if you're a personal injury lawyer, you haven't listed your profile as personal injury attorney, you have to immediately do that. That will immediately help. Number two is proximity. So how close are you to the law firm? All these law firms are located right in Philadelphia, okay? Because I searched Philadelphia. So you have proximity and, uh, and then, uh, let me see, what do we have next? Yeah, and then we had keywords and business title, which is irrelevant here because you know th these are law firm names. So my point in saying this is that 25% of whether or not you rank on Google has to do with things that these four firms right here are all tied on. They're all tied, right? They all have the same listing. They all have the same uh, proximity, right? They have the same listing, personal injury attorney. So it's tied, so literally 25% of what's making these guys rank is tied. So then it leads to the other four big factors. The next is link signals, okay? If you really want to see why these attorneys are listing high, it's because of their inbound link signals. So this has to do with the legitimacy of other websites that are linking to their websites. So for example, the Levin firm must have a lot of websites in the local area and within the personal injury space that are linking to the Levin firm's website because they offer valuable blog posts or content that other people mention in their blog posts. So there's many ways to get inbound link authority. Um, now this, while it is not necessarily uh, complicated to do, um, it does take a little bit of time for Google to catch up with your these links that are linking to your website. But nonetheless, it's simple, okay? There's guest blogging. You can reach out to local you know, organizations. Some people like to do local sports organizations. Pay them a couple hundred bucks a month for a legitimate, you know, maybe, maybe a .edu or, or you know, a, a path at, at a... At a um, you know, a, a, you know, a university sports organization, you can sponsor something on their website and then have a link from that sponsorship back to yours, which shows local authority, or you can just do guest blogging. Um, now, a lot of attorneys don't have time to do this, so we offer a service to do that for you, but it, guest blogging is not complicated. You write a blog post that gets put on someone else's website, and in exchange, they link back to your website. Um, so, so that's link signals. Number three is review signals. Okay. Now look, notice here, 48 reviews, 44, 54. Okay. They're pretty close. So why is someone with 44 reviews ranking above someone with 54 reviews? So we know it's not just number of reviews, right? What a lot of lawyers don't know is it's actually three things. It's review velocity review diversity and review quantity, okay? It's not just review quantity. You could have a million five-star reviews with no nothing typed in by people, and Google is gonna value that less than if you had you know, a, a lower number of reviews with actual human text typed in. Uh, velocity means uh, review velocity. So they wanna see review diversity. They wanna see text in the reviews. And then secondly, they want to see review velocity, which shows a natural ebb and flow of how you're generating reviews, right? So, so what does that mean? Well, natural ebb and flow means you didn't get 100 reviews the day you opened your firm and then none for another three years. Google's gonna know there's probably something up with that, right? So they wanna see a natural velocity of reviews. That's why very important system you can build for both your brand as a firm and your SEO is a constant review system and holding people accountable on your team to make sure that review system is pulling in reviews, natural reviews every month. Okay, 
So now I know what you're thinking, more reviews, push for that, there's probably more risk for people to leave negative reviews. Well, it's true if you don't use intelligent software. So we actually have a review software that you can send to your client, right? You can choose what clients you send it to, first of all, but you can send it to your client and then it goes, okay, uh, first selection, when they click on the link, you can either text it or email it to them, is it says, would you recommend us to a friend? If they select yes, then it leads them to link directly with your Google My Business and they can leave a five-star review. That's great. If they click no, they would not recommend you to a friend. They're brought to a separate contact form where they can input their feedback, which is not posted to Google My Business. Okay, you don't want to post a million negative reviews on your Google My Business so you can shield it using a review management software that uh, compartmentalizes uh, positive and negative reviews. So there's ways to control this with reputation management software, which we provide um, and other companies provide too. Next is on page signals, right? So on page signals means right here, their website mentions truck accident lawyer. See that? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Their website mentions truck accident lawyer. Their website mentions truck accident. Okay, all of these say that. All of these websites say that, okay? So what does that mean? Okay, so there's three things. There's, this is called on-page signals, right? So there's keywords in title, domain authority, okay? Keywords on website, uh, name, address, phone number. So literally, if you have the keywords that you're looking to target in on a page of, on your website, and especially on the title of a page of your website, you're much more likely for Google to be able to scan your website quickly and then show you in Google Maps for those keywords. So this holds so many smaller law firms back and medium-sized law firms back because they never just took the time to strategize, hey, we're going to do a two, one two-hour meeting per year to go over what keywords are the highest value to us that we want to rank in Google Maps for. That one two-hour strategy meeting with your team could return you millions of dollars, like literally, just by getting clear on what the exact keywords are you want to show up in the Google Map Pack for, could the ROI is immeasurable, but most lawyers just do the, what I call the spray and pray method where they just randomly have hire SEO company and they control the, the keywords and they control it. No, you need to be involved in the strategy because you know, you got to understand truck accident lawyer is going to be tough to rank for. So what you want to do is you want to find longer tail keywords that you can include in your blog posts over the course of a, 12 month strategy with a couple of high value blog posts per month where you're putting in four or five keyword phrases that, that actually will get ranked on Google Maps within the first few months. So that's another strategy. And then the fifth one, which was on this list on the Moz local search ranking list is citation signals. So citation signals, you're not gonna be able to see here, um, but what that basically means is that the Levin firm is has proper internet citations, meaning it has, so like there's, there's citation sites like, um, you know, you can, you can do free listings on AVO, you can do free listings on Yelp, you can do free listings on many third party sites, uh, yellowpages.com, right? There's all these different websites you can just list your business on and then have your firm name, address, and phone number consistent on those. Um, and then what happens from that is Google then detects, oh, this is a legitimate business. Their information is accurate across all platforms. So if you do those five things, that will that is 82% of the work to get your law firm listed in Google Maps for the right keywords. It is possible. Google is not too competitive for lawyers. There's just not enough lawyers taking the time to strategize on what they want to show up for and how they're going to do it in the next 12 months. I guarantee if you follow these five actions, you will not regret it. If you're interested in having my company do this for you, the SMB team, uh, we are a full service legal marketing company growing rapidly right now. Last year we grew 812%. Um, and 
I want you to reach out to us for a free consultation where we'll actually look into your competitors, we'll look at what they're doing for backlinks, what they're doing with their content on their website, and show you how you can actually beat your competitors in the next year. If you're interested in that, go to smbteam.com, smallmediumbusinessteam.com, uh, and get a free SEO consultation for your law firm. Thanks.